the Vanguard ran some cloak and dagger missions a while back in the Black Garden. We tried to suppress the Black Heart. It ended up corrupting the Guardians who came into contact with it. From there out, Dark Guardians spawned and darkness slowly spread. Welcome back Guardians. Before starting, this video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks and audio entertainment, including bestsellers, business, self-development, and now even podcasts. If you are yet to try Audible, you can try the newly released Audible Plus with the holiday offer for only $4.95 per month for the first six months. And after six months, it is only $7.95 per month. You can listen to thousands of audiobooks, Audible Originals, and podcasts in the Audible Plus plan. To try out Audible Plus, visit audible.com slash Games or text Marlin Games to 500, 500 I don't know about you, but I spend most of my day reading. Reading Destiny Lore, writing Destiny Lore, then reading Destiny Lore again, and then reading a lot of journal articles to try to finish my PhD. And it's just nice having someone read to you for once. I mean, I'm sure you understand this. This is probably why you watch these lore videos. But for me, Audible is a nice way to wind down and relax at the end of the day. My Audible recommendation list currently is Halo Shadows of Reach, the new entry in the Halo series, and Kings of the Wild, which I think you'll really enjoy. So if you want to try Audible Plus for $4.95 per month for six months, use audible.com slash Games or text Games to 500 Big thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video and let's get into the latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Let's begin. If you have not completed the main campaign in Destiny 2 Beyond Light, and the Exo Stranger quest, Born in Darkness, this video will contain spoilers. I'm also going to use some information from the new lore book, The Dark Future. However, I'm only going to cover information that is revealed in-game. The starting point for this story is the Exo Stranger's dark timeline. We've always been told that the Exo Stranger came from a future where the darkness won, but it has never really been explained. Beyond Light provides the details about what happened in the Exo Stranger's dark future. In the main campaign, the Exo Stranger says this. The time has come for the Exo Stranger to reveal to you her secret. In another timeline, her original timeline, she failed to stop the darkness from manipulating guardians and bringing about a second collapse. Since then, she's been carried through time, trying again and again to prevent that dark future. In the failed Exo Stranger's timeline, multiple things happened to allow the darkness to spread and win. One thing that happened was that Eremus was successful in accessing the darkness from the Deepstone Crypt. Have a listen to the lore entry chapter 2, Intinerant Mendicant. It reads, Stay ready. We don't know what's in there. I say to Anna, standing in front of the entrance to the Deepstone Crypt. We make our way through the war-torn lab. Eremus's siege before the bombardment sure left its mark on the place. She found darkness here and helped spread it like a plague on the world. Clovis almost did the same in his time. Of course, in our timeline, we do stop Eremus from creating a dark army of fallen. In the failed timeline, it was not just Eremus that spread the darkness. Zavala also talks about how the corruption of Guardians started with the Black Garden. Have a listen to the lore entry chapter 4 unguarded. It reads, Our troubles began long before they showed up, Zavala says. They were just the leaves of a tree planted long ago. The Vanguard ran some cloak and dagger missions a while back in the Black Garden. We tried to suppress the Black Heart. It ended up corrupting the Guardians who came into contact with it. From there out, Dark Guardians spawned and darkness slowly spread. This is not so different from our timeline, as we too had Guardians corrupted in the Black Garden. However, the most important aspect about the Exo Stranger's failed timeline was, it was not just the darkness destroying everything, but rather the darkness won in corrupting and turning Guardians against the light. The darkness was so successful in corrupting Guardians that the lore book, The Dark Future, describes armies of Dark Guardians. 
Have a listen to the law entry, chapter 8, Migration. It reads, The dropship hits the ground with a thud, sending tremors through me. The door opens, and we're greeted with a frontal assault of Thrall. We come out firing. It's chaotic, but through the turmoil, I spot the Scarlet Keep. I see an army of Dark Guardians stampeding towards us. This is why the Exo Stranger is so keen to guide us in wielding stasis. She wants us to be successful in wielding both the light and the dark. The Exo Stranger reveals that she is Elsie Bray, granddaughter to Clovis Bray, and that to truly master the darkness, to master stasis, we need to uncover Clovis Bray's research. We highly suspect that Clovis Bray used the darkness in transferring human minds into exobodies. See my previous two videos for more information about that. In the Born in Darkness quest, the Exo Stranger has us track down Clovis Bray's journals to try and better understand the darkness and therefore wield stasis. Have a listen to the Born in Darkness quest line. It reads, The Exo Stranger is pleased with your progress acquiring and learning to use stasis, but explains it can still be further enhanced. She reveals herself to be Elizabeth Elsie Bray, granddaughter of Clovis Bray I. His experiments on Europa were filled with deceptions and secrets, the most important of which may have involved exos, darkness, and by association, stasis. Acquire his digital journal and you are bound to discover further truths about stasis, but the journal is currently locked. As we unlock Clovis Bray's journal entries in-game, the Exo Stranger drops this bombshell. Anna Bray is not adopted as we have always thought, and is the biological child of Clovis Bray II, and therefore has the same genetic material as Clovis Bray I. And in the Exo Stranger's failed timeline, Anna Bray turns to the darkness, with the Exo Stranger forced to kill her. Have a listen to this cutscene. We told her she was adopted, Anna. It was simpler than telling her about our father's infidelity. But it was more than that. Anna had some... destructive tendencies as a child. Reminded us all of the old man himself. Our mother thought if Anna believed she wasn't one of us, she'd dodge our grandfather's genetic cruelty, as she called it. I never bought it. Cruelty isn't genetic. It's learned. Clovis chose to be evil, and Anna was just a child acting out after losing her father. But, in my original timeline, my dark future, Anna eventually found her own brand of cruelty, thanks to the darkness. It used her troubled past to manipulate her, and she wasn't strong enough to resist, and I... I had to put an end to it. To my little sister's life. There was no other choice. You killed Anna? In my dark future, yes. Truth be told, I miss her. But in this timeline, she doesn't even know that I'm alive. That's by my own design. This time, I kept her away from her past and from me to prevent the darkness from getting to her. But no matter what I do, it still finds a way. Iris Morn gave in to curiosity and brought the darkness. Aramis gave in to desire and built a dark empire. As with all things dark, they were both driven by obsession because that's where our fault lies. That's how darkness corrupts. I can't ignore it any longer. Keeping Anna away will only cause her obsession to grow and the darkness will find her. I must find her first. So the Exo Stranger killed her own sister in her Dark Future timeline. And we can read the law book, The Dark Future, to see exactly what happened. The majority of the law book has Anna Bray trying to learn stasis from the Exo Stranger. Anna Bray is trying to convince the Exo Stranger to teach her how to wield the darkness. Have a listen to the law entry, Chapter 1, The Family Line. It reads, I need you to teach me. Show me how to use stasis like you. You really understand how to control it. You're not corrupted like them. 
It is not until the end of the lore book that it is revealed that Anna Bray has already embraced the darkness. She is already wielding stasis and she turns upon the Exo Stranger, trying to convince her to join the darkness herself. Chapter 9, The Return, reads. Elsie, listen to me. This was necessary. The darkness cannot thrive while believers of the light remain. There's a world beyond this conflict. Let's go there together, Anna pleads. This is not the way, I cry and ready my stasis. Elsie, please don't do this. You can still join us. Don't you want to be a family again? I finally shatter my own binding, blasting her with stasis. She flies back, locked in the air. I see her struggling. Anna, she's corrupted you. No, she gave me purpose. Damn it all, I know what I have to do. I kiss her forehead as I turn her blade and thrust it into her. Her eyes go wide and some semblance of my sister returns before she fades. The Dark Future lore book reveals that the Exo Stranger has been trying to save Anna Bray from the darkness. However, the outcome is always the same. Anna betrays her. The Exo Stranger has been to multiple timelines and relived the same events, despite her best efforts to change the outcome. Have a listen to the last paragraph from the Dark Future law book. It reads, I'm so sick of this scene, of hearing these words ever since the day I killed my sister. That was the first time. Now I've lost count. No matter what I do, it always ends the same. Blood and betrayal. Then I'm back where I started, right here. I'm being taunted, punished, forced to relive this loop. There has to be a way out. I will find it. I have to save my sister. So this explains why the Exo Stranger was trying to avoid Anna Bray in our timeline. She thought that if she didn't have any contact with Anna Bray, maybe the darkness would not get to her. However, in the Born in Darkness quest, the Exo Stranger changes her plan to save Anna Bray. Rather than avoiding her, she tells Anna Bray about her family history and her plans to support us wielding the darkness. Ironically, this causes a fight between the Exo Stranger and Anna. Once again, it seems like the Exo Stranger cannot repair her relationship with her sister. In her failed timeline, she refused to teach Anna stasis, and Anna still embraced the darkness. In this timeline, the Exo Stranger reveals she is embracing stasis, and this still causes a rift between them. The Exo Stranger starts to think that it does not matter what she tries. The outcome will always be the same, blood and betrayal. The Exo Stranger even hints that our timeline may just be another failed timeline. Have a listen to the Born in Darkness quest part 3. It reads, Perhaps I shouldn't have dropped so much on Anna at once. In my past attempts to befriend her across other timelines, I always tried to ease her into these revelations. She shifts uncomfortably. But we no longer have time for ease. I just hope that by creating a different world, one where the darkness can't get its filthy claws into our heads, that Anna will come around. If she doesn't, then this whole thing may be a wash once again. The big question for Beyond Light is can we save Anna Bray? In all the previous timelines, Anna Bray has been corrupted by the darkness and betrays the Exo Stranger. Is our timeline any different? And with that, that concludes this latest A Destiny 2 Lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, leave the phrase Dark Future. To represent the future, the Exo Stranger cannot seem to escape. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.